Curse on Limgrave and not expect it to be so huge. I know. I actually, I thought that was a unique dungeon, and I was like, oh, kind of a bummer. They only used it that concept once. Aha! Let's go. Hidden wall. Who dis? Wait. Whenever we find a hidden wall, we gotta double check the other walls behind it. Fuck! Oh, I was so lucky. <laughs> Flame protect me, you get roasted so badly no one wants to beat you up anymore. True. Okay, so that seems to have been nothing. Unless it's just a way around this. Oh, a shiny. Hello? Golden rune. Cool. I see. Looks like a way you can get through here. Someone say roast? Hey, Rancid, how's it going? All right, so this is very convenient because we can we can skip all the nonsense with the with the running. We can just, yep. We can jump right into the the thing. Ow, sneaky! Wake up! This is catacombs at uh, top of the mountain, uh, near the near top of the mountain. I missed this? That's what I'm here for. That is a little weird. What did you do? <laughs> Just kidding. Dude, it keeps doing that. Drift, stop it. Quick, check your goober levels! <gasps> Look, it's their, they're worshipping the, the trolls. 46. Oh, interesting, interesting. <laughs> mage is in your poise damage? Jesus, listen, it's not the, a mage thing, okay? It's a nebula thing. Oh, uh, but nebula's magic? I don't care. My name is the Dancer of the Dingus Valley, and I would like to be addressed as such. Okay, let's see what's down here, though, because, like, you know? But the thing is, whenever you find one hidden wall... Need sufficient in to use it? Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm a mage, it just means I'm smart, bro. <laughs> so this is where... Okay, so I found that hidden wall. That's a nice, like, helpful little shortcut, because it helps you kind of get through the thing. What am I using? I'm using the Wing of Astel. And Lyco dropped me a second once, even though it's my first playthrough, I do be having two. In before Cheater. I know, it's fine. I don't care. I'm just PvEing. I did- I did do PvP on this character, but not with two weapons, and I kind of want to soon. I probably will. <gasps> oh no! Oh golly gee, there's dark shadows here. I'm scared of dark. Bunch of pumpkin eaters out here. I do love pumpkin. Show my hunter's pistol replica. Ooh, cool. There we go. Time to see the light. All right, let's go check down there to make sure there's nothing like hidden. Cause this is kind of a weird room if there's nothing here. Okay. What a weird room this is. There's just a bunch of dinguses in here. Okay, go with me. Flame, protect me! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Jump scare. I love cursed swords. Ah, okay. Well, this is interesting. Did that get rid of the shiny on the top? Those are a great weapon set. Yeah, curved swords are so good. 
Dual attack seems to come a lot faster than dual katana. Most definitely. Um, curved swords have a really, really quick moveset, but the range is... Okay, I'm not, like, for sure. I think the range is a little bit lower than the katana, and katanas have, uh, poke. Whereas his cur curved swords do not have any pokes. But, to balance out, the running attacks are really strong. And as are the jumping attacks with the multi-hit. Firemonk armor! Firemonk graves! Wait! Was that, like, just a lucky drop, or is that guaranteed? Because goddamn. Black iron armor adorned with a red cloth, attire of the fire monks. The grotesque face sculpted on the chest is said to depict the corrupt ancient god of the flame. Taboos transform into lasting obsession by virtue of the fear that they inspire. <gasps> it matches my eyes. Ah! I love it! So, there, it appears that the- sorry, what was it called? The ancient- corrupt ancient god of the flame. Um, and there was also a talisman that I got that was- that Marika is said to have killed that being. Wherever they were. Oh man, I thought I'd remember. Lucky drop? Really? That's crazy! Oh well. I'll have to find it later when I'm reading through everything in the game again. From like last week? Oh, really? I haven't noticed a difference since then, but that was definitely a lucky one. The fire monks are guardians of the flame of ruin forbidden by the Erd tree and said to be kept high in the mountaintops of the giants. Featuring a flame motif. Okay, interesting. Uh, words like paltry? Yeah, I love the word paltry. So I have no- if there's a- if there's a shadow goober here, I don't have anything to do with the shadow goober. Because I got rid of the rune thingy. Oh, here, I can't- I can't get rid of the shadow goober. Shit, I see what I- where I did- went wrong. Cranial vessel, candle stand. Okay, keep that in mind. We got- we got work to do real quick. One moment, please. Oh, Jesus, this is gonna be tough. Yep, there we go. Go, 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 go. This is tough, this is tough, this is tough. Ah! I want to kill them so I can explore their product. The bazooka shield! Thank you! Yes! Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, we're gonna check. Hey, loser. Looks like you're not a shadow anymore. Looks like you're Sonic the Hedgehog instead. Cool, I like that design. All right, let's explore here proper properly. Could just be nothing. Was it a weapon chat? Probably. Candlesticks on... There it is! Cranial vessel candle stand. Wait, when they say it's the hood and the hat that they wear! Candlestick used in worship of Mirak, the most hallowed monk prelate of the giant's flame. Concerned over the lazy arrogance with which the monks treated the flame, Mirak severed his own head as a lesson to the others, intending it to be used as a candle stand. His faith yet smolders from within the cranial vessel. Unique skill, surge of faith. Set the flames of Birak's faith ablaze in the cranial vessel, then raise it aloft to rain down fireballs in all directions. Repeated inputs will continue to raise armament aloft, continuing the attack. Yeah, have you ever been so mad that you literally sliced your own head off just to teach everyone a lesson? It seems like a very reasonable man, I don't know. It seems like a reasonable response. Can't say that I'm in that mad. Yeah. Very chaotic energy, perhaps too chaotic. What am I even doing in this place, by the way? Hi, do all of you- no. Okay, we're gonna check for hidden walls, you never know. You know, I've played Dark Souls, remember it, uh, Midir? Likes your inventory to be chaotic? Very true, yeah. I need to have all lore on hand at all times. What if I need it? Oh, look for hiddens. Look for hiddens, remember. 
Remember what game we're playing. Remember what game. There's always hidden. Not me. Oh, it looks like a shortcut. Oh, <gasps> why is it glowy? Was it always glowy? I don't think it was glowy when I walked in. <gasps> I'm such a genius! If you put the elevator back up, there's a light here! But not if you don't! I totally f***ing did that by accident. <laughs> oh, what up? Genius in the house! Let's go! Hey gamer. Come catch this work. It's gonna yell at me a lot. Actually so smart. Stop yelling at me! I don't like it. <laughs> Bitch, come here. Oh my fucking god. Seriously? Why? When I don't want them to, these jerks will chase me to the ends of the earth. Really? He's on the- on the cusp. Oops. Add a juice. Low on juice. Magic school bus where Arnold takes out the I remember, dude. I actually was terrified of that scene. There's this one scene in the magic school bus where freaking is his name Arnold? Is it Arnold? Arnold freaking. Wait, this looks like a secret. Arnold, go. They go into space and he takes his helmet off and he fucking dies. But he's like, he's like, okay, you know. But I was like, what the fuck? I was so scared of that scene as a kid. I still have like traumatized memories of certain scary cartoons that I watched as a child. Oh. Oh. God teach you space is dangerous? Yeah, who, who the fuck is going to space? Elon? I didn't watch Courage the Cowardly Dog, it was too scary. Am I gonna die here? Probably. Let's just do it. Am I gonna summon my mushroom? And my mushroom, I mean jellyfish? Yes, I love her. Let's go, Aurelia! I'm gonna play Pokemon, I'm gonna get a jellicent named Aurelia. You just wait. She's there for moral support. She just looks cute. Ah, ancient hero of Zamor. You fought with the giants too, didn't you? Lost losers. Oh, ah, ah! It's a, it's a wind. It's a bird. It's a plane. Don't you slap my jellyfish, you jerk wad! You can look as hot as you want, but you will not touch my jellyfish. Oh, <gasps> some more curved sword and the full outfit. There's lore in this fashion! Yay! I wanna know what the mask look like. <gasps> Doesn't it kind of look like Marae? Like House Marae? Okay, t tell me this don't look the same, alright? Look at this. So we got... Hang on, I need more light. This? Close your eyes. Vers versus this. Doesn't that kind of look like really similar? Oh wait, I have a secret. I found a way to do this. Kinda? What if the real lore is a house Moray descended from, uh... From the Zamor? 
What does this look like, chat? Don't answer that question. <laughs> Mask worn by Knights of Zamor hailed as heroes in the war against the giants. These long-lived warriors clad in biting, freezing winds are said to have been the mortal enemies of the fire giants since time immemorial. Interesting. Curve sword. It's a. It, was it a curve sword or was it a big curve sword? Because they they go in different categories. There it is. Zamora curves. What the? F that looks so pretty. Is it good, chat? Weapon wielded by the Knights of Zamora who earned great renown during the war against the giants. In apparent devotion to winter, the curved blade is styled after an icy wind and imbued with a powerful frost effect. It's got teeth. It looks pretty. What the heck? Oh, it's very spinny. I can dig that. Okay, no crouching moves. I don't think a lot of the curved swords have that. Oh, cool! I don't know if I like it, but it's cool. Like our mask because it keeps me warm. Mm -hmm. Mutter myself in public, no one looks at me weirdly for talking to myself. I forget that I'm I'm a pretty quiet speaker um, normally, like, believe it or not. <laughs> I actually can be pretty quiet. Um, and I forget that I'm kind of hard to hear. And then once I have a mask on, I'm even harder to hear. So I have to speak even louder. And that's, like, really stressful for me. I forget all the time. I'm like, uh, no one can hear me. Doubt? I know. I know that sounds weird. You know, uh, my entire life, my entire life, people were like, you're super fucking quiet, I can't even hear you. And I hated it. So now I started talking really loud, and now I fucking yell on stream. I have a weird balance of a loud as fuck hype machine and a quiet person. Like, literally, my entire life, it was like, wow, I couldn't even hear you, you're so quiet. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, I'm not quiet. It was like, in defiance, people telling me that. <gasps> There's a thing down here. What the fuck? My preamps and compressors help? Yeah. All that sneaking and for what? Okay, let's grab this before I decease. <gasps> great, great grave glove war. It's new and special and shiny. Oh my god. Join the stream. Ah! That's what I said. Literally Smo, I can't believe it. Like, it's literally the Smo move set to a T. Haha, <laughs> where's Ornstein? Oh, damn. It's really hard to see when there's fire everywhere, as it turns out. I, I did roll directly into the strike range. Oh my lord! Uh, I've heard of a headshot, but this is ridiculous. Oh, fire pillet, gauntlets, and greaves. Oh, dang! Black Iron Greaves with the appearance of flames, attire of the fire prelates, commanders of the fire monks. The weighty frames of the prelates symbolize the onus of their grave vows as guardians of the flame. Etch this sight upon thine breast of my thunderous gravity. 
What? Does that mean like they're really thick so they drop their ass on the ground? Like what does that even mean? Well joined a fire call? He's changed. What 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 would your what would your best friend say? Oh. Oh. Oh my. What's this way? So we're not done here. A ladder. Okay, let's take the ladder first, because we can get back up a ladder, but not if we fall the other way. Heavy metal track title? True. Oh <gasps> wait a second. This looks familiar, but also, of course, is not familiar. Oh shit, fuck. Uh-oh. There's gotta be a way to bring this down. It's gotta be there. Aha! That's another great goal for I have to go get that. Not not a big fancy one. Any minutes to get each of those? Honestly, I've had two double drops. That was pretty friggin' lucky. Also, hey Mercedes Buffalo Buns, how's it going? I almost thought it was like not required, but like a guaranteed drop because I killed one of the fire monks and got two pieces, and now I dropped I killed that guy and got two pieces. <gasps> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, 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 yes. We gotta send this back down. We gotta send this down! How do I send this down? Ah! What? There we go. Aha! Look at that! Come here, lemur. Big AoE. I do not like lemurs. Like, I love lemurs, but I don't like these lemurs. Come here. Oh my god. They hit so hard. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so scared of them. The ice lemurs are especially mean. They do like three things, but all of them are scary. <gasps> Watchdog's greatsword. It's probably a greatsword, am I right? Well, not a greatsword. Oh, maybe it's one of it's a colossal. There it is, colossal sword. Stone greatsword wielded by Erd Tree Burial Watchdogs. Look at the sort of opalescence on the blade. Though decorated with the watchman's eye, the pupil was taken by grave robbers and is now hollow, leaving the sword a mere lump of stone. I just realized if it's got an eye on it, I wonder if that's associated with that god. Maybe that's who Gideon is after. Maybe maybe that's what Gideon's up to, you know? Maybe he's with the, the eye god. That would actually make a lot of sense, because his insignia is the eye is in the all-knowing, so no one would look would think twice. What if he's a worshipper of the ancient evil corrupted deity? Ooh, new lore. I wonder if I can parry you. I've done it before. I'm not good at it, but like once you're actually visible. You need just a dingus? Honestly, that is the real lore. Oh dang it, I'm out of cookies. I got a new Apple product. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it, doesn't it? I realize that Guinea is kind of a prick. I thought Guinea was a prick within 20 seconds of meeting him, especially since he's calls himself the all-knowing, but he's not even the all-knowing. He wants to become the all-knowing. So how's it how come he's the Gideon the All-Knowing? It should be Gideon isn't all- oops, isn't the all-knowing yet. <gasps> oh my god, maybe we don't try to parry because my ass is about to be eaten. Wait, what just happened? That was weird. Oh my god. No. No, no. Oh my god, no. Why is the camera betraying me? You don't understand. Just let me kill the stupid watchdog.
Why are these things so scary? <laughs> oh, I guess something happened. Okay, now we can do the drop down and see where that leads. That's at us for not having a great rune, but it's like, where's your great rune? Exactly, he doesn't have any great runes. Unless he does and he's lying to you. I don't know. Also, I found something that I unfortunately missed. Is this just another way to get here? It is just another way to get here. Okay, so it looks like we're done. I found out that you can summon Melina for the for the fight. The cool fight. What fight? Uh, Morgoth. I didn't know. I missed that. Also, I found out you can talk to Morgoth because I killed Morgoth, another character, and I found the talk prompt. So I kind of goofed that one up. But we'll get that in. We'll get that in New Game Plus. Oops. Yeah, so Melina, she has unique animations, has unique spells. It's really fucking cool. Also, Morgoth just basically goes, you're an idiot, the door won't open, idiot, bye, and then he dies. Morgoth, more like Forgot, actually true. Find the Morgoth prompt until my third playthrough? I didn't find the Morgoth uh, prompt until my third kill of Morgoth on my third character, so pretty much same. So when she doesn't hate you? Yeah, that's, that's exactly my plan. Yep. Oh wait, this is new. Did I not come up here? Oh, I couldn't. Wow, okay, I think I'm explored. She wasn't very helpful, but she was cool. Morgoth and Margit, they are the same person. He just names himself something different, so nobody knows. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we can leave now. We're done. Sweet! Margit the Mirgit, actually true. I was busy teabagging the first time I killed him. Uh, yeah! Mirgit, out of disrespect. <laughs> yeah. We don't know everything about him yet. Or, like, I don't, because I haven't finished the game. But we'll, we'll get some lore together. I have, I have some ideas. Nothing super solidified yet, though. Alright, looks like we can leave the hero's grave. First major bot is actually a light game boss. I love that. Reminds me of Genichiro, especially since he attacks you uh, randomly. Like the giant seal. Ah, thank you for the reminder. I did not. I wonder what it is. I don't even know, honestly. Let's see, I see. There it is. Thank you, thank you. Giant seal. <gasps> it looks so spooky. Illuminati? Sacred seal depicting the one eyed god of the fire giants adorned with braids of red hair. Radigan? Sacred seal wielded by fire monks and prelates, this catalyst enhances giants' flame incantations. What if Marika killed the giant and then the, the, the deity and became one with the deity? Because that's what happens when you kill somebody, you take their shit, you become them. They're called seals in this game? Yeah, maybe that's why I didn't actually realize they're called seals. <laughs> like, it's just like talismans. That's sussy. We got some lore going on, though. Interesting. All right, let's explore from up here now. Maybe the fire giants are Illuminati. I don't know. Don't talk to me. Dude, there's so many hands there. I don't like this place. It's very, it's very, there's so many hands. Identity theft isn't a joke. Yeah, it's very serious lore. Talisman needs something else here? That's why I get so confused! Because I'm using old parlance. Bonfire. Souls. Whatever, I don't care. I'll never stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, don't want to stop. Alright, let's go with something new. <gasps> oh, they're fighting. Cool. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna go spend these souls real quick. We'll just buy upgrade materials. I think it's a good idea, because then I could try different weapons down the line if I feel like it, even though I already have my favorite, kind of. Wait. I missed something very important. First, I didn't read this. White flower that blooms in catacombs 
a spirit nestles close to this grand specimen. Since times of old, large glove warts were used to comfort heroic spirits, given in tribute to those who died the most glorious of deaths in the hope their stories would become legend. Oh, I did already get one of these. But didn't it say new? I could have sworn it said new. Maybe I misinterpreted. Oh, kind of a bummer. Um, I forgot something. I don't know how I missed this. Uh, you'll see. Oh, that's what you guys are talking about. My bad, my bad. I missed this. This is very important. Somber Soul Miners Bell Bearing 3. <laughs> right there! No wonder I wasn't sure if I got that. I found that on a different- I found that on my other character, but I didn't know I didn't pick it up on this one. Ugh. I didn't realize there was two. I haven't done much upgrading, admittedly. Hi, you're new. Uh, white flower that blooms in catacombs and especially large specimen. It's the same lore. Okay. I have 15 of these and 14 of these. Let's get some of this and then let's buy some of this. Beautiful. Yay! What was the last invasion you had? Uh, in NPC? Okina. 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 Okina? Okina. I don't know how to say his name. No, it's items important. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the thing. My other character, I found it, so I went back for it. At least I found it. Oh! <gasps> Another grace right here? That's so close. Oh, because this one is. Oh, I see. This is a kind of random one. Foot of the Forge. That sounds important. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, somebody j You're very large. Are you larger than the others? You're larger than the others. Yeah, you're really big. Okay, yeah. Uh, sir? What the fuck? Big fucking hand. Yeah. Well, smitted? Uh huh. Uh, it just one shot a Kaelid bird. With his fat ass, just by the way. Uh, Raph, hands can't have asses. Wh who among us is the doctor? I have a doctor in my name. Dr. Raffarino, okay? Come back here, you coward. I do not like that. At all. The bottom of the palm is the booty? Yes. Come here. How you become coward all of a sudden? Dude, the fingernail is the size of my whole body. That is a big hand. And you drop nothing? You're just a regular hand? I think I was supposed to encounter it before the bonfire. Catch that hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Maybe it comes up behind you or something? That'd be spooky if you come from here. If you follow the path the way- if you follow Grace, it gets you to catch that hand. That's mean. I like that. Yeah, because I'll run into- oh. Breath the Wild Shield Surf on the fingernails? Yeah, just rip off that fingernail casually. It's horrible. Oh. I think I saw that hand teabagging. Their teabagging is not allowed. Only disrespectful shits teabag. That's why I teabag, but only when deserved. I'm very disrespectful. It's true. Undeniably true. So these are like giant giants. Wait, maybe these are trolls. No, they gotta be giants. I guess giants come in different sizes. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you playing with a ball? A fireball? That's actually really cute. Oh, it's a slug. I thought it was a ball. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Uh, what the? Oh! <gasps> no! It's the thrower boys from Bloodborne. These guys hurt. These guys hurt a lot. Can I be the final boss this game? Well, sorry, but don't tell me about it because I am not even close. Uh oh. I regret not 
nothing. I regret nothing. I you when the opportunity presents itself, you have to do it. You have to. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even think about it. That's how that's that's what you call content. Just no thought, no brain. Whoa, just too kind of you. Gravity sends its regards. I will take any regards. I will tell it, see you later. Get it? Because regard is another word for speak. Like from French, regal. You know? This, this, this is a really highbrow pun, okay? It wasn't. It wasn't even a pun. Did it even qualify? Hi, can you stop throwing pots at me? One of my best friends is a pot, and I find it very disrespectful. Ow! Sir? Okay, now that's just me. Why do they have whiskeys? Oh lord. I'm about to get gravity again. <gasps> oh my god, I just got styled on. To be fair, that was a 2v1, alright? These guys suck. <laughs> oh god, it's not even that funny. Maybe that's what these hands are. Maybe they're giant hands. Because, I mean, they're all pretty giant hands. Somber Smithing Stone 7. That's a good drop. I didn't mean to summon Mimics here. I thought I had Jellyfish on. But, oh, baby, you know we're going for it. Let's go. I'm calling upon the only bitch I trust. <laughs> yeah, maybe just do a jump attack, because if so, that is spicy. You trust yourself? Yeah. They also be in Karia Manor then? Well, there's a lot of trolls, uh, like... Oh, hang on. The trolls are not with the giants. I thought they were. That's a misconception that I had. Um... Karia Manor is really far north. We don't know exactly where the giants' territory extended. Also, they're in Lane Dell. I kind of got the vibe that, like, they could be giant hands that were then, like, repurposed turned into golems and don't really have a will of their own, perhaps something similar to a process of grafting. But the giants have regular hands, so I don't know. Where did grafting even come from? You know, like that's an interesting thought. Who came up with the concept? I don't know how to get up there to that guy. Yeah, I do trust myself. I don't trust myself to, to remember or wake up on time, but I trust myself for most things. Know thyself, as they say. I just fell into a giant's nose hole. Hey, don't go running off. How much time I spent getting up to you? Oh, god damn it. Hit him with the feet! <laughs> Yo, he just straight up fell. <laughs> oh, they were very ambitious with their placement of these enemies, but it led to some interesting situations. Why are there smaller sentient hands? Well, look at all the giants. They're all different sizes. Do you see this one? It's all tiny. This is like you could take this guy's hand and make a smaller one. The reason I, I thought of that just now is specific. Oh, wait, look at this. I just realized, isn't this the... It looks like an eye. So maybe these aren't giants, because the giants worship the evil deity, but then... 
Do the fire monks worship the evil deity? Because they did, right? Taboos transformed to lasting obsessions. I see. So the evil god was bad. Uh, and they they fought against the fire giants, or the yeah, the fire giants, but then they became obsessed with the god that the fire giant worshipped as well. Then the together, yeah, together was the start of last stream. We got him in like two tries after that. The evil god was bad, but they still be worshipping him. Oh shit, oh shit, okay, maybe we don't go up there. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, 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 come on. Oh no, okay, we're okay. We're good. We're okay. Should not be here. It's a bad spot. A regional spot for 20 minutes. That's always the best when they're hiding and you still manage to take them out. Where do the fingers come from and why are they able to do divination? I want to know so bad. You know, good point! I, I'm still so curious because the fingers, the hands, you know, I feel like they're missing something. Like we're missing pieces of this grand puzzle. But we're starting to get them. Sarah feels a little sparse. The most interesting thing that was here was a dungeon and then Okina so far. Huh, okay. Oh, that's a lot of hands. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, could I have gone here all along and I didn't notice? No, this is something different. <gasps> crimson World Bubble Tier! I found a Crimson! Oh god, yeah, you know what? Let's just run. Oh god. Well, that was helpful. Crimson World. I keep missing items, too. Like, it's- oh my god. Converts damage re received into HP. Oh! There's incoming damage into reco recovered HP instead. That sounds really cool, actually. That sounds good. Okay. I'm glad I found that. My hands are easily one of the worst enemies in the game? No. They're terrifying. Because we already know they're giant hands, but are they giant hands? Ha! Ah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Good lord. Ah. It's just knocking trees down. Every time I see one of these, I need to kill it. It's not even worth it, but it's just... I don't know, they're so big and cool. I like that. Oh, terrifying. There, what happened to these giants? Um... Well, they ward. With everybody. So maybe they're just assholes. We consider that option? I think they're just assholes. Also, do you see how they all got like... You know? It almost looks like the deity got pissed at them or something. You know? Killed them? Okay, new theory. The giant... So Marika killed the evil deity and then acquired the evil deity's p power. And then the evil deity... She used the evil deity's power to stab everyone in the chest. With their own evil deity powers. Because it looks like... Oh, we talked how it looks a little bit like death root, You know, the, the thorns. But, like, the thorns have been associated with the fire monks as well. So I'm not really willing to go immediately into the whole... Oh, it's immediately associated with death root. Because it could be different, but similar. But it also could be the same. Doesn't it look like that? It does. But it also looks different. 
Hi. <gasps> we gotta bring Alexandar. Like, you know we do. For what? I don't know, but we need to bring him. It's important. What is that? You're looking great, Alexander. You know, my actual human name was almost Alexandra, but it isn't, and I'm really glad because I knew about 15 Alexes, so it's really good. <gasps> Fire giant. So this is a boss boss. <gasps> you got red hair, brother. Just like, wait, is your, you have a face on your chest? Uh, sir. Sir, have you heard about manscaping? Yeah, this man's got two faces. Uh, chat, which one do I make eye contact with? I don't know. What's polite? What the fuck is going on? This is unexpected. Dude, Alexandra is getting fucked. He's so tanky? Oh, I gotta break the manacles, the the, 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 the decorations. It's a wall near! It's a wall near chat! But then what? Oh, I can't use torrent. Makes sense, makes sense. Because I have a summon, of course, right? I forgot. What the fuck is that? Wait, it's the sun! It's a sun spell, just like the moon spell. More? And his shield looks like a sun! The one I got is the sun! Oh, oh. What is with that mouth? Eh, what that mouth do? Okay, we break the manacles. We do it. Oh, <laughs> I do love natural redheads, though. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Listen, I'm just trying to make a dumb joke. Can you get back here? Dude, you are toxic as shit. It is really hard to find you. To, like, access you? Alexander. Whoa! Alexander, can you get out of the fire, my brother? You're getting God. I need you. Wait, do you take more damage now? No, you do not. It's, it's gotta be a breakage of the manacle. Dude, how many hits does it take? This is tox. My man Alexander took how long sitting in lava? Oh, 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 oh! He's fallen! Where do I stab him? Where? Where? What do I do? What? Huh? That's a climb him? Huh? I do not like this. First impression? I am Confucian. Like, I definitely broke a manacle, right? Like, I'm not insane. Maybe I am. Must be missing something. Wow. Okay. Whoa, oh, Jesus, that was way too close. Kid has time to conquer Persia these days? Nobody. <laughs> Could have sworn it broke. even a half health yet? I must be doing something wrong. We gotta hit his face. Like the the inner face, the, the face that, that his heart is at. Oh 
Oh, really, dude? This bonking me with a dinner plate? I feel like I'm fighting Captain America right now. What? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that... Oh, my God. Please seek medical attention. Oh, my God. Is he going to rip it off and hit us with it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't cauterize the wound. It increases the risk of infection. It's last giant. I offer you this foot, Miyazaki. Please give me power. No. Oh! <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, okay, 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 okay. I'll go. Alexander. Oh damn! Me after I eat spicy food though. Um. What? I have no idea what's going on, but I know that I'm very scared. No, 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 no. Oh my god. What the fuck? Dude, where did you go, Alex? Oh my god. Hit him in the face! I'm out of juice, I'm out of juice, I'm nervous. I'm out of juice. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. I'm calm. Ah, I'm not calm. This is what the fuck, I don't even know. I feel like I'm missing something. I have to be missing something. There's gotta be a gimmick to this. Do I hit him in the leg? Dude, he got those thick thighs, though. Oh, they say. Ow. Yeah, this fucking sucks. Hello? Alexander, please. I really need you. He's all rotted and shit. Yeah, this does like no damage. Maybe he didn't break the manacle. This is so weird. There, uh, there's gotta be a gimmick to this. There's no way. This sucks. So he's got the deity in his chest? That's why he's all rotted. Yeah, rhetorical questions. Yeah, just to be clear. I do not need answers. Worry not. Okay. W excuse me? What the fuck? Well, for now, we head down and give her. We gotta get him to half health and then learn the phase two, I guess? I like having Alexander here. These two socks are factually incorrect. Objectively untrue. Thank you for your opinion, though. <laughs> wow! Really? People know I like these two on Twitter, so sometimes they come in just to give me their incorrect opinion. Oh, the hair! We broke the hair! So not the manacle, the hair. Yeah, there we go. He doesn't like it when I- Look how many fingers! That was like seven fingers, I think. Yeah, we focused a bit. It's bare! Oh, I can see the raw skin where he's rotted. Oh, Jesus. Alexander, any fucking day now, bud. I get it now. We can't cut through his skin. I thought 
it was a wall near situation, but now I understand. I would love it. There we go. Yeah, that's much more doable. Uh oh. Oh no! I would love it if you didn't get up there, though. Like, come on, brother. I don't really like this because he moves so fucking much and, like, I can't even get to him in this gigantic arena. But I will withhold my thoughts until the very end. I swear I clicked the dodge button there. Stop moving it away from me! Like the one thing that I need. There we go. Much easier phase one. Much easier. Since these two hate while playing with my ferrets. You actually did! What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. How are the ferrets? Can I hit him in the... Oh god. Oh, he cuts off the weak point. We gotta find another one. I get it. I understand. So we gotta hit him in the hands? Yikes. This is great. Huh. Huh, I see the problem with this fight. Yeah, this sucks. Alexander might be causing me problems because I can't use Torrent, so it helps- it damages my mobility. Yeah, I see it now. Now, give me the hand! Jesus, fuck. Okay. Ah. Give me! Give me! Alexander is helping with aggro, though, because the things are focusing him. Just kidding. No longer lucky? Mixed luck? Yeah, I don't like how much he wiggles around, to be honest, but it's not terrible so far. I did use, like, literally all of my juice now, so that's not optimal. gesture. I don't remember what I got. I was busy. Ah, let's go! Not too bad. Not too bad. I did click- Remembrance of the fire- Wait, Remembrance? Oh wow, this is like a big boy, huh? GG first try. Yeah! Thank you for the bits! Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of happy with second try because that was perfect. We, we had the first try to be like, what the heck is going on? And then we had the second try for like, I know the gimmick! The moment you get the gimmick, I swear it makes it easier. My build does some good damage, though, so I feel really comfortable with that. But see, that's the thing. I almost never got to use Nebula. Because of how much he was wiggling. So, I didn't even use a single flask of Cerulean Tears. Feels good. The Fire Giant is a survivor of the war against the Giants. Upon realizing the flames of their forge would never die, Queen Marika marked him with a curse. O oh, trifling giant, mayest thou tend thy flame for eternity. Wow. Wow, that's really interesting. Okay, anything else? Okay, let's go. Marka being the Gwyn of the setting? Yeah, but she seems cooler. Wow, 
Wow. All right. Well, or anything. Was there a grace from this? Sometimes the bosses have graces. Sometimes they don't. With how big the arena is, I don't, I don't know. So we just fought with Alexander, meaning Alexander's probably up ahead. That's usually what happens when we get a summon. But we do want to be very careful. He did say he was looking for this flame. Which makes sense he helped us with the fight. I don't know if summoning him was required, but I like to err on the side of summons. And it's fun. It's fun to just have your boy. Like, pretty much any time I could summon Blight, although I actually never got to summon Blight. I did Radon summonless in the end. Right, okay, I found that. Um, but I did fight with him a little bit. Um, I, I don't really know about two fights you can summon him for, and the first, the sec the first one I found on my second playthrough. Okay. You had to summon NPCs sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, you had to. You had to summon more. Yeah, I had to summon for uh, for that too. Okay, let's just go spend our souls. You know, okay, I don't think that was a terrible fight. Um, I didn't love it. But I didn't, I don't know, I didn't mind it. Once you figure out the gimmick, it makes it a lot easier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, <gasps> we get the veteran's outfit for this. An old helm that is seen in many battles, worn by, oh, this is for Neil, sorry, or Niall, Niall. An old helm that is seen in many battles, worn by Niall, the veteran general of Seoul. Niall was a lone survivor who commanded spirits to defend his long past master. This aging general could not die, nor did he have anywhere to fade away. Interesting. Cool. Giant's red braid. Oh! Hefty whip woven from the flame red hair of a fire giant. Every giant is red of hair, and Radigan was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps that was a curse of their kind. <gasps> their kind is in Radigan was a giant. And Radigan is Marika, so Marika was a giant. Ooh. Interesting. Faith makes sense. Burn, O oh Flame, one of the incantations that draws directly from the power of the fire giants, raises a series of flame pillars around the caster. Charging further increases the number of flame pillars. The fire giants borrowed from the power of a fell god, and still they were defeated, yet their failure released them from their solitary curse to serve as keepers of the flame for eternity. Except for the final one. So that makes sense as to why. Marika must have been a giant. I kind of figured that one. Okay, this costs 10k. I want to get the incantation. We can always use a use a thing to get the to get another remembrance. I haven't used any of those, so I might. I don't know how good the whip is, but we'll see. Numenar giants and vice versa. Kind of, yeah. If that's the case, indeed. <laughs> 